Hey Cyberpunkers and welcome to the review of Captain Marvel. Brie Larson was brilliant as Captain Marvel. Her performance as Captain Marvel with the addition of Goose the Cat, which is not really a cat, he's a flirtin, was the best part of the movie and the only redeeming qualities that this movie had. I went in with really high hopes. See, Marvel had a track record of producing good quality movies. Unfortunately, with Captain Marvel, they fell a bit short. 60% of the movie dragged out. This is a very forgettable movie. But let's review Captain Marvel, but the original Captain Marvel. Let me give you some background to Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel was created by Fawcett Comics. It first appeared in issue 2 of Wiz Comics and was the most popular superhero in the 1940s. Yes. He was even outselling Superman. Now, seeing that Captain Marvel is basically a magical copy of Superman, DC then sued Fawcett Comics for copyright infringement. During that time, Marvel acquired the rights to the name Captain Marvel. DC then acquires the rights to the entire Captain Marvel family. But because Marvel has the rights to the Captain Marvel name, DC had to rename Captain Marvel to Shazam, but only officially renamed in the New 52 relaunch. Now more on Shazam's power set. Shazam's powers are the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. So let's review the movie Shazam. Not that one. Shazam is downright a fantastic movie. From the story to the casting, it was nothing less than brilliant. I'm actually loving how DC is moving forward with their franchise. They're keeping the tone of what they set in Aquaman and translating it to a more heartfelt family superhero movie. When it comes to casting, Zachary Levi does a brilliant role as Shazam. That's crazy, right? What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to pee in this thing. And oh, let me not get started with Mark Strong's Dr. Savannah. Super villain! Super villain! Even though Dr. Savannah's character deviates slightly from the source material, Mark Strong brings a good balance to the villainous role. Personally, I feel that it's a good thing that they left Black Adam, or The Rock's Black Adam, out of this movie, so they have another A-list supervillain to utilize in the upcoming sequels. Shazam delivers on action, and boy does it deliver on emotion. Superhero can't save his family. It's not much of a hero. Most importantly, it's true to the essence of what Shazam is. If I could rank Shazam with the rest of the DC movie list or lineup, I would say it comes in at a solid second. In a nutshell, Shazam is a great, well-balanced movie. So if you didn't watch the movie yet, stop wasting time and go watch Shazam! 